Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You know, some days the cats are busy, lots going on. Other days, not much. But you know, I still find it fascinating to watch them, even the small details, like walking into the garden. Three quarters of the uh, garden, the beginning of the garden is fenced off. The cats, they know to stick to the left hand side and they can just wander in and out. There's no fence there. If they go to the right, then they run into a fence. You know, I've said to you before, the whole garden has been sniffed out, mentally mapped out, and committed to memory. They know where they're going. They know where the fence is, they know where the trees are, the obstacles, the walls, they know where it all is. I find it fascinating. Like there's at the moment, there's a pile of firewood there. Not a problem. We'll either walk round it or we'll climb over it. When that wood is gone, there'll be. Oh, that's not there. Okay, no problem. We'll just carry on. There are some folks that make such a big fuss of blind cats being outside. But there is no fuss with the cats. They deal with it. There's no big dramas with them. If there's a pile of wood that suddenly appears, where did that come from? We'll have a sniff. We'll have a climb, we'll have a look, not a look, but we'll have an explore. And then they remember. This is William. William's blind. Buffers. I thought you was Kira. And this is Dipper, who's nearly blind. Now, Dipper had had a bad morning. He'd been set upon by a stray cat on the wood store roof. And I couldn't get to him, I couldn't stop the fight. And his fur was being pulled out by this, this stray cat. And you know, the only, all of my biggest cats just sat in the kitchen waiting for their breakfast while this fight was going on, watching. And in the end, William here, a disabled cat, he literally jumped from a set of stairs about a metre or so above the wood store. He jumped onto the wood store roof and he waded in and he took on this um, stray cat so his friend Dipper could get away. Oh. And yet Fergus here, <laughs> one of the big brothers, he did nothing. The grey and white cat there, the small one, is Mabel. She's a newish kitten. And Mabel has a thing for olives. She likes flower petals, but she's also into olives. She likes to, um, I mean, they're falling off the trees at the moment. So she picks them up and she brings them into the house. Normally she puts, or she likes to put them on my bed or under the duvet. That's popular at the moment with her.
Scoots. The black cat is Momo, I think, because she's blind. And the cat that's just disappeared into the Borgen Villa, the ginger one, is Scoots. And Scoots is blind. I have seven blind cats in total. Two more are one-eyed. And they all live together with the rest of my, the regulars, the seeing cats. And you know, there's no problem, everyone. When my first blind kittens came home, the advice was, don't let them mix with seeing cats. It doesn't work. I'd love to know who made all this up, <laughs> because it's crap, to be honest, to be blunt. There is no problem. You know, when I get kittens, new kittens come in, I sometimes have to do a quarantine and they go into my bedroom. My other cats know that there are new arrivals. They can smell them, sense them, hear them. So they know something's going on. And two weeks later, and I always finish quarantine of a morning. And I cook the breakfast in the kitchen and then I open the bedroom doors. And the kitten or kittens, depending on what I've got, they don't need any help. They follow their noses straight into the kitchen. I put food down and they eat. And the regular cats, you might get the odd hiss from an older cat, but otherwise it's... Harry. Oh, okay. Good morning, hello, how are you? And then they start their friendship. People can complicate matters, I think. But there's been so much negativity about blind cats that people worry. I used to. But after this, all, this, all these years of watching, having blind cats, I now know that there's another side to them. That's the point I'm trying to make with this channel. Hope you've all enjoyed the video, everyone. If you have, could you give us a like and a subscribe? Comments, questions if you have them. And as usual, we will all see you again a bit later.